Hey everybody, we are going to convert our 9 pedal foot drum to a 12 pedal foot drum. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Um, first thing first, I'm going to take off the snare. It's a 12 inch snare that is 3.5 wide. And reveal to you our left heel post that we're going to be adding where this hole is and a hole back there. Uh, first thing first, I'm going to take a look at the underside. I know you're going to be probably crawling on your hands and knees on the carpet, but I have this nifty bench. And we're going to make sure this flat part of the bracket is facing towards the outside so that I can get the front part in. And what I'm going to do is just kind of push this lever down a little bit, and it's going to get through the wood, and it's actually going to stay there, kind of like a uh, kick post on a bike. So this is the um, left heel post is now just kicked up. And what we're gonna do now is we are gonna grab our left heel post. And um, I'm gonna show you a little trick. This is what we do here in the shop. So you were gonna see this thing already done up, but this is a barrel nut. And then that barrel nut is some threads just so I can go down with my bolt. But what I really want to do is make sure that that barrel nut has that slot facing up and down because that's telling me where the thread direction is. So what I'm going to do is, what we have already done here in the shop is to make sure that when you put this thing together, still pretty vertical, um, it's not going to move on you. And we're going to take that tape off when we get assembled. So. Here's the orientation it's gonna go in. We have our mounting bracket. This is where we're gonna put our toe post into. And this is our quick release for the stick grip. So grabbing the bolt that came with that, it was threaded inside this hole. I'm gonna do a little practice thread. Yeah, it's locked. So go under your drum. I'm gonna put that bolt in the hole. And I want that sticking out just a little bit at the bottom so I can know where to put that. And I'm going to push in that direction until it hits the back spine of your top board. And using hand pressure, I want you to just thread this down and make sure you find those threads. And you'll know when you find those threads because it'll be kind of locked on. Not like that. I'm going to check down the line and make sure my threads are all lined up. I'm going to try that one more time. So I got it on track and I'm pushing down towards the back. And I'm going to just... Get that in. And I think I have it in. It's a little bit hung up on something, but once I kind of move this a little bit, I find that I can get that to turn. I want to just do that as much as I can feel comfortable because I'm going to save myself that bit of time by doing all this. And since I'm already in, I know I can take this tape off because our bolt or nut's not gonna move anymore. And uh, let's start on the back and this is my four millimeter Allen wrench. And I'm just gonna get as many turns as I can. I'm starting to feel this thing crank down a little bit. Do you want to put a fair amount of pressure into it? This bracket is going to be holding your left heel post to be playing all sorts of fun stuff. Okay, I'm going to just do a visual inspection. Make sure that is all looking towards the back. So as I look back here, I just wanted to kind of see that it's flat. It's up against the back. And what I'm gonna do now is kind of line it up a little bit. My toe post is right here. And what I wanna kind of do is line it up with that hole that's underneath. So let's flip it across. And now I get a clear shot. And I can see, I might wanna come down just a little bit. So I'm gonna pull that down, just so that I see that it's all nice and lined up. 
All right, and I'm gonna do my final turns, I think, because I like where that is. You can really lean into that. It's okay, it's gonna make it lock into the wood. That's recessed enough where it's not gonna be in your way. Now we're just gonna add the toe post. So I'm taking off this um, nut that we have made for our shop here. Take off this plastic washer and then take off a felt. I'm gonna put this through that hole. I'm gonna add that felt back on. Add the plastic washer back on. And then while holding this, because this is now fair game to be bouncing. These two magnets are opposing each other and want to spring up. So I'm kind of holding that washer, holding everything together, finding that hole, and then just turning clockwise till it gets kind of snug. Not really snug, just finger tight snug. Now I want to gauge really how well I did to get this all lined up. And it looks like, sounds like I got a little friction. So I want to move this over a little bit. That is a lot better. So now that is my true spot. I'm going to go back and actually make sure I'm not messing that up. I'm going to tighten it down in this little spot again, getting my final turns in. And then I'm going to just prove that this is the right spot by, oh, what it did there is it when it got tight, it actually hit it in its true nature because it was probably leaning and I tilted it out. So I'm gonna loosen that up a little bit. I wanna let that wood kind of get reset down there. And now that I'm really tight onto that, I know where my true nature is. Actually, it's gonna be right there. And I hope this doesn't move it. Feels good still. Feels good. And last turn. <clears throat> feels good. Now I'm just going to kind of get the felt seated in there. Everybody feels good for the up throw. You got your up and down stroke looking pretty good. And then you've just installed your rear lever. When you're done with this, all you got to do is knock it back into place. And now these two are coming down at the same level. So you can get that two for one hit on your left heel. Uh, we're going to be mounting an articulated drumstick in there um, in just a minute, but that's um, how that would be played to hit the bell of the cymbal. Okay, on to the next lever. This one is our left inner toe post. And that is going to be, of course, taped off. Like I just said, this is going to be your mounting bolt. We're going to take that off. And... Find this bolt right here. I'll circle out of it. And there's a little nut under there. You see that little nut? It's got little teeth on it. Four little teeth that are digging into that wood. We don't need that anymore. So I'm going to take it out three or four or five turns. Then I'm just going to push that down. Because you want to get that nut out of where the teeth are. Hmm. All right, now that we're out, I'm gonna take this stuff aside. And I didn't get it quite all out. So what I'm gonna do is put that bolt that I'm gonna install really soon, just do a wag back and forth. And the teeth are out. Don't need that nut anymore. And don't need that bolt you just pulled out anymore. Those two are no longer needed. <clears throat> now to reassemble this, start with your M8 washer and your nice long bolt, a M6 lock washer, and an M6 fender washer. Put that back through. Get our lever. I see where the slot of the barrel nut is. I'm just gonna do my hand twist. Take off my tape, because I don't think I need it anymore now that I'm threaded in there.
and drop my four millimeter Allen wrench. Excuse me. Now I'm gonna be looking out for that lineup hole again. I got my uh, toe post mount right into there and I wanna find where that hole is. So I'm gonna leave that loose this time and maybe learn my lesson, how to get everybody lined up. Again, don't need that bullet. Here is what you're gonna be getting. You're gonna get this, but there's no plastic washer. You're just gonna take off that felt and put that felt back on. Notice there's a bevel on the bottom of one of these felts, and that's gonna be at the bottom because it's hugging pretty close to that lever. And again, just wanna go through your hand tightening procedures and get everybody feeling nice and smooth. I think I'm gonna tighten this one first because there's nowhere for me to go. I'm already kind of bolted on there. So that feels pretty loose. And if I tighten this down, the theory is that it's feeling nice and good. And it does. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lift that up a little bit, make sure that it's got a nice long throw and just kind of nesting that felt back into its little slot right there. Uh, this one, of course, is going to play our jingle uh, uh, stick when it comes uh, arriving with a 12 pedal. And then we're going to mount our third and final. And I think this is the easiest. This is the left outer toe post. I got a series of washers and nuts here. And right outer toe post. Oh, it's the right outer toe post, my, uh, my fellow drummer here, Mike, says. Good call. Left, right. Matting my bolt with a larger washer on the outside and the short or smaller M6 washer on the inside. And I have my lock washer on that outside. Now I'm just adding that to my coupling nut. And again, I'm going to really want to just do these as hand tightenings just to make sure that the thread starts. That's the trickiest part of all this. And once you kind of have that established, grab your M4 wrench, and I'm kind of holding that nut. Now I'm getting resistance from that nut. You want to grab your 10 millimeter Allen wrench. Just going to put that up underneath there, hold it. And I'm just going to tighten. Now, there's a slot on the side. There's a slot on the side that you can see has room for this to go up. Or to go down. Right now we're going to keep it in the down position, but feel free to experiment with that. It kind of means how far your stick or egg shaker is resting lower or if it's resting higher and it has a different kind of stroke. So we're going to keep it in its down position. I'm going to put that on pretty good. It doesn't need to go anywhere. Again, going to take going to take my pull it off. I have this uh, washer I just had in my hand would be on there if you get it in the box. I'm going to take off that felt. So I got a felt at the bottom. I'm going to put that felt back on. Then I'm going to find my washer, put that washer on. Then I'm going to put the bullet shaped nut right there. And I'm going to kind of try to find it in its natural location coming straight down. Again, this pedal. So what did you do with that bullet? I just put it on to the end rod of that lever. And it should just... You see that one more time? There's a... Okay, I'm falling apart. Okay, so in order to put this toe post in, you put the toe post in, put the felt up. You have a plastic washer that you put up there and that's kind of its stopper. I just put this bullet that I took off of the toe post and I'm just lining it up casually so I get a good thread connection and I'm good to go. Now, again, check that it's smooth and then tighten it down in that spot and then recheck. 
So now I'm gonna go pretty tight. Nothing to hold you back from going as kind of as tight as you want, but that one's not gonna go anywhere soon. And again, this now is really close to that. So if I was to put a drumstick in there, I might actually get a little closer than I'd like next to the fag shaker. So again, if you see from your overview guide, you'd want to adjust this pedal so that it is pretty much off because I don't really have good access with this lever until I open that up. And there's a bolt right here that commands the same mount. The same mount as this. So I'm gonna loosen that up a little bit. And now I'm gonna loosen this one up a little bit. And I can move this stick way far over here, which is probably too close because now I got this post right here. So I gotta move it right, maybe right there. Tighten that back down. And I think we learned that tighten this one first nice and smooth and now you can tighten that i think it just moved it over so i'm going to kind of move it back while i get that final turn in feel free to go as tight as you can it's not a big deal to over tighten that specific area and of course just re-engage hold turn and i don't remember i would have counted how many turns i did or half turns but I'm thinking it's probably right around here. I can check that when I put my bass drum on there and decide how low I want my throw to be. And that is pretty much how you get the three different levers added to your nine pedal foot drum. Here's that bell mount. It's hitting the bell of the cymbal, something like that, maybe like that, I don't know, but you can direct a little bit of how this is positioned in your stick grip and how this is coming out and interacting with other sticks that might be back there. Um, of course, this can play egg shakers, jingle sticks. Uh, we even have a bell that's nice that you attach here and it's two finger bells and they come and do a nice little bell-like tone, but that's kind of used for short percussion. And then of course over here on our right outer toe post, you can get a um, hit with an egg shaker and then hit a crash or a splash. You could have uh, stack cymbals, so you could do a 10 inch cr uh, splash and a 14 inch crash, let's say, and have these hit by two different sticks. Uh, this, that is why this one's nice. And then you can also do these nice little um, additions with other pedals and other things that confluence together and make lots of drum noises. And it's really uh, a platform for your creativity in your drum world. We hope that this 12 pedal experience would get you a little bit further down that road to really be expressive with how you play your drums. Anyway, let me know if you have any questions. Okay, so this is a six to nine pedal kind of hint. I know we're kind of looking at a 12 pedal right now, but I recognize that nine to 12 pedal video is kind of the most difficult of the two and uh, of the two upgrade packages. So I'm just gonna kind of touch lightly upon that six pedal one by looking at this one. So we're gonna install our left outer toe post and I need to get access underneath this hi-hat pedal. So I'm gonna go underneath the drum and I'm gonna loosen that and I'm gonna loosen that and I'm gonna pull that back. Ah, I'm gonna lose my clutch, no big deal. That's just down there. So I have access to that. What I wanna do is recognize that that is the same setup as it is on our other toe post. There's a bolt right there that connects with the mount, that connects with the lever. And you have your lever and you have your mounting bracket and your stick grip. So the orientation on this one is a little different. Basically the mount is on the other side and your toe post is here. So looking down, you'll just see that it's a nice preposition that this is at the very end of this rod. And if you were to go over to this side, you'd notice that that rod is also a little extended on that side. That means that what you can actually do is that you can use this um, lever. You can flip this uh, rod through this um, nut that's right there, and you can put that rod onto that side. And lo and behold, you would have be able to uh, mount your toe post for this lever, one of the egg, the left inner toe post, but have that toe post 
pushing down on that one right over there. So that's just a, an addendum. When you're putting these levers on, you can really choose between either one. And that is the case also for this. However, in a 12 pedal, this is where this lever has to be on this inside uh, toe post. So that's why we do this as a default on this left outer toe post. So taking that off, I'm gonna kind of do the reverse engineering thing. We're gonna take it off and we're gonna put it right back on. So what I have here is uh, the, a button head bolt. We have a lock washer underneath that and a fender washer. And those go into that hole. I wanna make sure just like on our other video that you saw between the nine and 12 pedal conversion that that a slot is up. And then I'm gonna hold that slot or you're gonna have it come with tape on there, which is gonna kind of hold it for you. I found the threads in, I can pretty sure. Sometimes they're kind of hard to start. So this is why sometimes I say, use your fingers. So you really know that you're on there and you're threading pretty easy. So that's pretty easy and it's almost down. This is gonna be a few strokes away and I'm pretty tight. So again, reverse engineering that, it would have come loose. And I just wanna take that all the way off so that I can take this, what we have deemed the bullet, this bullet. We have a washer at the bottom. And I wanna make sure that washer is on there. Now again, I cannot, I get that started. So the threads are started. I cannot move this lever side to side. It just plays with the angles too much when it's this far offset from the lever. So you really have to just aim tried and true. You're gonna go due north when you're trying to mount this up. And that means probably taking some eyeballs, taking a look around, maybe put that drumstick in there and you'll really see that line stick out. Um, I'm feeling pretty good that that's pretty perpendicular to everything. So what I'm gonna do is again, I'm going to learn from my mistakes. I'm gonna tighten this down first. It's pretty close to the edge of that bolt, but should be pretty good. I'm gonna go pretty tight. I get a nice good free motion. Now I'm gonna tighten up the mount. It's about as hard as I can get it. And that is looking pretty smooth. So I'm gonna take my final turn on this, make sure that doesn't go away. And recognize I just put in my left outer toe post of which you can make this toe post by switching this bolt with using a hex uh, 10 millimeter Allen wrench to taking that nut off and put that bolt sticking over here and you could have this coming down on that inside one. And once you do it, change it to that one, you actually can sweep your lever a little bit left to right, just like with your left, or sorry, your right, Whew, right inner toe post. Um, when you're looking at your right inner, sorry, your right heel post, which is playing our snare drag right now, this one is gonna be the same as that. You're gonna make sure that that bracket in the back is orientated to the back so that you can pull or push if you have this upside down with that now kind of in its kick gear stand kickstand, kick gear stand uh, for bicycles, you know, kickstands. So again, reverse engineering this. I'm going to be taking that off. I'm going to see that there is no plastic washer right there. And that's because I really want this play to come as far up as it can. So this is a big, long throw because this just adds that extra bounce in your snare drag that we just like so much. So we don't want it to stop in the same way that we do the other, uh, the other ones. And Again, if I was to reverse engineer that, I would tighten up that first. Get it nice and tight. And then had I not had this all the way in, I would follow the procedures that you would have seen in the six to or the nine to 12 uh, pedal package upgrade video. And I would be tightening that all the way over, make sure that's nice and tight. And again, you're orient oriented towards the back of your wood spine. And it's perpendicular to the drum. There's no turning into it. It just wants to be perpendicular. And that's really your right heel post. Your left outer toe post. And your right inner toe post. Um, six to nine pedal upgrade. And again, review that other video. That six to nine video. Where you'll really get a better shot of how everything gets put together. Uh, but this uh, six to nine, you can just start to add a lot more of these accent notes. It's a really 
nice package for not having to change out in the middle between songs if you have a different arrangement of your sticks and sounds and so if you're entertaining a nine pedal it's kind of the way to go i really like them 12 pedals does have more options but the nine covers your core pretty good when you want to ride or a crash or other uh, shakers or jingles going at the same time all right well i hope that wasn't too hard let us know if you have any questions